Well, good morning from Iluka on the Clarence River. Um, you've basically got Iluka on the north side and uh, Yamba on the south side. Um, I chose to come into Iluka because the, uh, it's a really nice boat haven here. Um, so, yeah, it uh, fits the bill. Anyway, where did we leave this? Um, I sort of lost the day somewhere. Um, on whatever day it was, Sunday, I think it was, um, I saw that the conditions basically for traveling from Coffs Harbour North um, were good. Um, so I made the decision to leave Coffs uh, in the evening. I got away at around about 5.30, I think it was, p.m. Um, because I needed to be basically at the entrance to the Clarence um, River uh, before high, you know, as the tide was coming in. So <clears throat> left Coffs at around about 5.30 and, um, you know, sailed into the fading dusk, as it were. Um, beautiful to see uh, the lights of Coffs uh, going behind me and the moon setting. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the moon with me for the night. Um, but it was an exciting trip. Interesting. I haven't done an all-nighter before, so this was the first. Um, so the wind was quiet for the first little bit. Um, but then it picked up a little bit later on, which gave me runs of five to six uh, knots, which was very satisfying. Um, interesting when you're in the pitch dark, basically, and you can hear the whales moaning all around you. I sort of think, oh, please don't run into one. Um, <laughs> I think I was even tapping the deck lightly with my winch handle at one point, just so they could hear me coming. So I'm sure it made no difference whatsoever. But anyway, it made me feel better. And uh, yes, interesting, just steering by stars, basically. Pick one and just hold it at that angle for, you know, the uh, period of time it takes before the next turn, as it were. Um, <laughs> obviously, if you're doing a very long leg, make sure you don't do that slow veer to the left as the stars pass over. But uh, it was very interesting. Um, saw some shooting stars, which uh, was amazing, and the, the Milky Way just standing out with no light pollution. Beautiful. So I yeah, arrived off um, Yamba at uh, dawn. Uh, literally the sun was coming up. I was a little bit earlier than I expected. Um, so I held out there for a little while, basically had breakfast and uh, bits and pieces and then slowly made my way to the entrance as the uh, tide was sort of moving to an inbound um, mode, if that's the right word. Um, and yeah, just navigated through the uh, area to get to this haven, which um, is quite nice. I went for a walk yesterday, just uh, um, while I was waiting for an old uh, work colleague of mine who very kindly came and visited me, uh, which was a great catch up. Um, thanks, David. And um, yeah, I walked up, found a few shops and I thought, okay, well, tomorrow, that being today, um, I'll go and investigate the rest of the town. Um, I looked at the map and I thought, that was the town. Okay, not a problem. So anyway, I will now go and have a nice walk elsewhere and go and see some sights. Anyway, here's what happened in the last 48 hours, I guess. Well, looks like a very fitting uh, farewell from Coffs Harbour. Uh, literally started up the engine and uh, looking to go in about 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah. It's actually quite warm still too, which is really nice. And here we go on the leg from Coffs Harbour to Yamba. Um, just got the last bit of dusk happening now. Looking around back to Coffs Harbour. Yes, it's been a wonderful stay. Thank you, Coffs Harbour. I'll be back on the way home again in months to come. As we head out through the breakwater, and around um, Mutton Bird Island. There we go, Coffs Harbour. Bit of a fingernail moon, but we're not going to have it for long, obviously. Sounds there's a party going on ashore, but hey, it's Sunday night on a long weekend. And you can see all the nice lights down there, the boats and lighthouses and yeah, all sorts. Kind of pretty with the moon going down, even though it's just a small one. 
Well, this is my view as I sail north from Coffs Harbour to Yamba. Uh, you probably can't see much of anything. I mean, well, you never know. Milky Way's up there. If you're seeing this, wonderful. If you're not, sorry. Uh, Woolgulga back there in various lighty places along the coast. I can hear whales off to my right. Um, so yeah, I tap on the boat every now and then just to let them know I'm here sort of thing. The long-awaited dawn. Uh, it seemed like, uh, yeah, years since it was uh, light when you're up all night. Anyway, it's coming here. I'm just off the uh, entrance to Yamba and uh, two hours earlier than I actually anticipated. Uh, some long promised light. Here it comes. Just sitting here basically um, with the sails down, just cruising along um, as I wait for the uh, daylight to increase and uh, for an appropriate time to make the entry into the actual uh, harbour. Um, so yeah, had breakfast, um, just did a bit of tidying up and uh, yeah, just enjoy the sunrise. There she comes, the long-awaited sun. And here we are just holding off the coast uh, of Yamba. Um, yeah, while I was out here I had breakfast, and just did a bit of a tidy up. Just sitting on half the jib here, just slowly making my way towards the entrance. Um, just trying to use up some time. Getting closer now. And um, just taking my time. You can see the lighthouse and everything more clearly there. So basically you have to approach um, a little bit from the north um, where there is a deep sort of channel going in. Um, so lining up the lighthouse with the, another marker and slowly going in. Felt like I was going to surf. You can if you can make out the swells going in. Um, yeah, it was quite interesting. And making my way in, the depth was good. Um, but even though it was only about two hours before high tide, the water's still coming out. But it is a river, so it be interesting to know really how much time there is an in inflow, if there is one at all. Just looking back at the channel where we came in. Now around to where we're going. We're going to go to the Aluka side. Um, it's all protected. Um, Haven there. This is the Clarence River um, and you can actually go quite a way up the Clarence River. I think you can even go to Grafton. Um, there is a bridge you have to uh, put that and uh, wait for the moment, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's been recommended. Uh, but maybe not this trip. The Clarence River. Not a small river by any stretch. That's the way we came down, and behind the breakwater, this fast forward. 